the number one reason why you're not succeeding in hard surge lobbies in challenger cup in elite cup or even fncs is because you're mismanaging your time when you're posed the question of should i rotate or should i stay a little bit more edge to get more surge that's where the game changes. If you want to learn exactly how you're supposed to play these lobbies correctly, watch this video all the way to the end. You're here to learn. You're here to understand how to play these lobbies better. And if you guys take the time to actually watch this video all the way to the end, you'll definitely learn something new that can absolutely benefit uh, and improve your tournament scores. So if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, leave a comment, all the good jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Guys, before today's video starts, if you want to support the creator on your screen right now so I can continue to post free, valuable content on YouTube, then check out the first links in the description. The first one offers one-on-one -on -one private coaching with myself, where you can get better at Fortnite at a rapid rate and learn what your mistakes are from a professional. And the second link offers a esports grade mouse from oneclickmouse.com. This is my very own gaming brand that I have actually created myself. And if you want a high quality mouse, but at an affordable price, you could buy the Aspire Pro to use, to compete, to practice, to play tournaments. And I really think that this is something that you guys will like so check out oneclickmouse.com and now back to the video do you know how to like um uh, judge how much surge you necessarily need like the it, a lot of people think it's like uh just the number so sometimes when you're 200 above you know like the warning shows it says like 200 right here right yeah um sometimes it's not good enough just look here because if you're 200 above yeah. but there's 89 people left this is not enough. You see? Mm -hmm. You see how yeah. there's two variables. We need to look at this into this. You should you should look at everything. Because I think a lot of people just look at one one factor and that's not that doesn't give you an accurate uh representation. Okay, I love the fact that you're looking around, it's good. On by nobody. So this is a classic situation where you're conned by uh literally no one, right? The entire frenzy. That's what it seems like. So in this case, what is your what is your thought process? What are you thinking if you see this? Get metal and then rotate out for surge. Yep. And uh, how do you think you should get surge? Like, where are you going to go? Do you have the information yet, do you feel like, to do that? No, not yet. I mean, I could, like, I saw who was conning nearby, so I can look for surge on that type of stuff. Yep. Depending on how early we leave. Yeah, I, I the way I would think about it is, like, it's, it's important to have, like, different sort of plans beforehand. Like, for example, um, let's say zone pull is left. We can go to zone and get surge at the same time. So we can, like, rotate this way. And I know this is a very important point of interest. And the reason is, is because this is the only metal in the entire left side of the map. All right? And so this team, whoever lands here, about down here, will land, will go there. Uh, whoever lands here will go there. All right? So all those things are important. So, like, you should have a plan for basically each direction pull. Um, another thing is, uh, this is a good point of interest because whoever lands here will take RVs and then what they will do is they'll go sit on top of gas station and farm it. So you can go on top of this hill, egg them with red eye. All right. So you, do you see how like before the game has even started, I've come up with two different plans already. Mm -hmm. And so the sort of preparation is important because, uh, we need to have options. Very much like how people come up with surge routes, you know, like, oh, I want to go sit on a hill. Um, the only issue with hill uh, surge, in my opinion, is like a lot of people have gotten good now. Meaning, it's hard to get tagged while you're sitting on a box on top of a hill. It's better to go a little bit earlier than that before the box phase and try to get tagged on people who are still looting or rotating. Because they're the most vulnerable at that point. When, every, when everyone on the map is in a box, like, you're probably not getting more than 50 damage. It's too late. You know, you, you missed your chance. Um, and so I agree with your idea of like, hey, we're on con. We should take the advantage of the fact that we can loot quickly because we're on con, um, and then use it to try to get surge early. So that is a good idea. I absolutely agree with that. I think you guys, yeah, you split up. Good. How efficient can we be? I don't think you should care about the wood here. You should get the loot. Okay, so at some point we just, we acknowledge the zone pull. We know that it pulls north, and so what should you? In, in my eyes, I think your plan should be tag these guys. Cause like, what? Well, like, I don't think there's another option. I don't think you should wait until someone keys you, or I don't think you should go left or right. I think you need to do two things at once. Cause zone's very far. You need to go this way, tag them, and then lean left or right to go around them, and maybe tag them again while they're on the hill. That seems to be your play. 
Um, the only issue is uh, your shield is kind of tough, but I think I think this is a situation where you kind of just need to give it up. Uh, I don't think you should continue looting like max. Uh, not because surge is urgent, but because the rotates far. And there's very much the case that like I think we can get stuck outside zone. Let's see. I mean, yeah, you, you guys do you recognize that you leave very soon. Yeah, keep going. This is good. Um, the timer as to like when you're leaving your POI is pretty good. I don't. There's no issue here, or, or at least there's very little issue here. You're about to say something. Yeah, I just don't think we go for the. Uh, like you were saying, we shouldn't fixate on getting that shield up. I think we go to. You see that beach? The uh huh. The right side. Yeah, there's coolers there, and I think their plan was get coolers and then more health. Yeah. So it's like the same idea of like waiting in frenzy, because either way, we're not getting much surge. Yes. Wait. So you you don't go for the surge. You go for the the. Cool. No, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, and I think we should have gone for the surge. I agree. At least maybe multitask it. One goes for the coolers and then one yes, and I think surge. it's the idea that like you think there's surge later, but like I said before, um, once you get into that phase where everyone's boxed up, it is extremely hard to get surge. Um, and also, uh, it's a little bit naive to think that you are going to be the person that gets the hill in the zone like this. So, um, do you have forecast in this game or no? I don't know. Um, so let's say, let's say, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you know this already, but if a zone pulls to an extreme and it goes out into the water, it yeah, is likely that the next again. zone pulls same direction. Back. Yeah. yeah. And so don't you think your rotates like max distance? If, if you see the first zone like this, like, I don't, I think yeah. your next one's going to be very far too. So you need to get up here. And so the likelihood of you getting up here and beating people to the hill is very low. Yeah. Which means in second zone, your surge is going to be next to zero. Okay. It's gonna be we really hard because you're the one who's yeah. gonna get surged on. You're the one getting shot because you're rotating in. Yeah. So that means before entering zone, you need to get tags. You cannot. You cannot just go coolers in. I think that's really hard. Hard. Which means, like, that's why before I even watch this replay, I'm talking about the preview, like the preparation. This is an option. This is an option. Maybe even here, but that's too late. And the only reason this is good, because I know this POI very well, right? Because I landed here before. People get RVs, and then they get the metal on the gas station, which means they're going to be delayed. Which means you can loot and then come. You can literally see it. They're still here. Which means I think you should get up here, tag them for 50 to 100 damage, then lean left or right. I, I think you'd get on this hill, tag them, just go coolers then after. You see how we waste literally like 10 seconds doing it? It's not actually a ba that big of a difference of a play that what I suggest you guys do. So I just think we need to go for the tag. Because, yes, there's 69 people, but this is the type of game where I, we can't underestimate Elite, right? 69, it's going to stick. I can promise you that. It will. It, this, this just happens because of off-spawn, not because people are keen. It's just they, they fight each other off-spawn, that's it. And so at some point, it's going to be a, the case that... And I, by the way, uh, once they realize you're there, it's really hard. And Commandment's doing a really good job of using the bush. And it's really hard. So, um, I think your your window of opportunity to get surge on them is, is gone. Uh, what I would like to see is before they even realize you're there, you need to you need to be hitting them. Their notification of them realizing you're coming should be getting hit, not uh, them seeing you. Which is why the, the movement is very important here. As you come in, it should be this way. And you like look like this, tag, and then I think you can go left. Cause fuck the coolers. Why? Why are we greed? Why are we greeting for coolers? Mm -hmm. Like we have enough heals, you know. So that's the I mentioned this in a video. Um, your power level, up, meaning like your your strength as loot, right? Um, going from spending extra time or going out of your way to go from eight out of ten to a ten out of ten, which is essentially another six splashes. Right? If you got another six splashes, I think your loot looks amazing, but it already is pretty good. Going from pretty good to amazing doesn't really help you. Uh, going from really shit loot to like pretty good is is a really big difference. You see what I mean? So I think I think the cooler is the wrong idea. I think you need to get surge on them and then go out the left. Also, another idea: uh, there are POIs to the south of you, right? And if you think about it like a traffic jam, that's exactly what's happened here. We're on the highway. We cannot go to zero in terms of speed. We cannot stop here, which is why it's a drive-by. We need to go on this hill, tag them, and leave. Literally 10-second play. We're getting 50 damage here. Maybe a little bit more if we're good aim. 
But 50 damage is all I can ask for, and then we can go. And then the funny thing is, we can just repeat it on this hill if we want to. Uh, if they're unaware, which most people are. I don't think these guys will be, but most people are unaware. And you just tag them again, because they think you left, and then you show up here again, you tag them, and then you leave again. Before they can tag you back. So now you're at 100, you go up, and because you're you're leaving early, you'll beat other people to their, you know? And then you'll be able to tag people on their left. Like It's just good. You need to consistently keep moving. You cannot pause like this, because this is where the game goes downhill. Because now, Avery and Commandment are holding you, and now there's a team in the bush behind you, because we waited too long. And now this is where it definitely gets a little bit bad. Good play. Assume you didn't have a hammer here. Aren't you at the mercy of Avery and Commandment? Mm -hmm. You see how, like, if they literally never move, you're just fucked? Like, that's the yeah. issue. So, we're very fortunate that we have a hammer here. Because if we don't, then we waste maximum time and we probably just die to search this game. Second zone shows. There's somewhat north, nothing crazy, but not that far north. It's actually a decent zone. So here, uh, your teammate gets tagged, and I think you get tagged as well. So let's look at this. All right, let's go deeper into the review. And let's look at this in detail. And this may be the case where you don't build, but let's see. But your shield is still fine. Everything's still fine. Should walk your left here, I think. Yeah. I don't think I saw. One thing I will do actually. Turn that off. This is way more realistic. There's one thing that a lot of people watch reviews in is like with the name tags, but that's not that doesn't give you the feel of the game. Okay. Very good idea, and I love the fact that he's aware. It's good that he's aware. Because um, a lot of people will peek like that and not be scared of them, but you should be. But he tags them very quickly and ramps them off, it's good. The issue is now is I think you should try to get away from them. So, I don't think you should stay here. So you're the traffic jam again. So after you tag them, we need to continue. Like, no one's holding you from the north. You know, we can get deeper. Um... And you may think like, hey, we still need a lot of surge, but like, I don't think there's surge left. I don't think there's that much surge left. Because once someone knows of your, so you see how, okay, let me give you this comparison, right? Uh, so your teammate knows that these guys are a threat, right? Does he ever expose them, expose himself to get tagged by them again? No. So do you see how like the most surge really comes from the first interaction and every interaction after is really hard to get surge because now they know you're there. You know what I mean? So it's about awareness checking. Because, like, these guys are focused on you, but, like, that's sort of depending on you guys to be bad. You know, they're hoping you overpeak, but that's not consistent. Because I think the the harder and harder, the better lobbies you get into, the less likely that will be working. So the idea is, like, tag someone. You see how they, they build off? You'll never tag them again. It will just not happen. So why waste time? Why are we still here? You know what I mean? Well, I think, I think, yeah, you're right, but I think team's sneaking up on them. Uh, no on them? No, no, far team. The team that needs to rotate in. Oh, them? Yeah, I think there's a team. Oh, so you're trying to hold them, okay. Let's so we'll see how that works. Out. Pinch and get tags while they're fighting. But I yes. think I get tagged. My issue with this player is I think you actually have enough search for first. Uh, and now the game's gonna get a little bit difficult later. And I just don't predict, like, the idea is you're, you're staying here to get more search. I just don't think you'll get more. So then, why? What's the reason, right? Might as well move. Because it's all about that awareness check. Because like after they know you're there, they're just not gonna get tagged by you, unless they're just horrible. Like if he's any good, he would not be peeking like this. He would open his right wall and peek like that. And there you go. So where are you guys? Right here. This is you. Mm -hmm. Right. And the next one pulls approximately here better right um so these guys right here right they have to come in right so you tag them right now and i at there's some point where i do don't because they notice you're there i don't think you'll be able to hold them too long let's say so let, option number one right you stay 
So you, that means you get surge on them coming in like this, right? So as they're coming in, you get a bunch of surge on them. Good. Now you have to move, but now you're going to be the one getting surged on by everyone else, right? Mm -hmm. So I think what we should do is instead of doing the surge here, why don't we just like, especially after they realize we're up here and we're not getting that many tagged until they're forced to move. Why don't we just move here? They are then obviously forced to come in later and then we can tag them then. So it's just a reordering of actions. So it's not that we're missing out on surge. It's just that instead of doing surge now and then rotate in later, we're rotating in now and getting the surge later. And the reason why that's beneficial is because the rotate will be easier because there are less people in zone. When, when we make that rotate earlier. So then that means we're getting held less. Right? Mm -hmm. And so that's the idea. I think it's better to do it that way. Uh, just because then we're not held out. The rotate itself will be easier. Oh, continue. This is where it went downhill. I mean, this isn't... This is where it went downhill, but not because... Like something that happened here. It's yeah. Just a lead up of everything we've been doing. And yeah. this is the result of it. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, this is just where the loot. This is where we figured out what we did was a mistake. Are you talking about the lead rotate? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so do you see how. I'm curious if that team was there. Let's just go back. And the, the suggestion that I'm making, like when to go in, is, 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 is pretty early, by the way. So I'll tell you exactly when I think you should move. Because right now, I think you're trying to get to that spot, which is fair. I think it's a good search spot. But the thing about search spots is I think most of them should be short lived. A lot of people will sit on a hill and just fucking tag someone. The only time you should be on a hill for more than two minutes is if you just keep pulling zones. And I just don't think it's. I think it's like 0.01% chance that you actually pull zone while you're dead edge. Very, very unlikely. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't get tagged. But yeah, that's okay. I could be a shield. I think literally after you tag the team that comes up close to you. Because you need to be... You can't waste time. Just like the, like early game, right? In order to have the time for the rotate and get out of our POI in a timely fashion, we don't waste time. Right? And the same idea here. Once we tag them, we, we have to... We're an elite. We make the assumption that they are not going to mess up now. Like, they're not going to suddenly start, like, doing dumb peaks. Like, they are now not an option to get tags on. They will build. Right? Even if they want to get to this health, they'll build the whole way. But there's no tags here. Right? I think you should move now. So let's compare how free it is now to Completely. literally two minutes later. So this is exactly two minutes later. Look at the minimap. There's just one team here, one, two teams here. And now this team is set up. So that's infinitely harder. That team is left, but I don't know why. But then we also have all these teams we've been trying to hold. Yes. Like around us. Exactly. Good point. Yes, exactly. The ideal place to have surge is where you can see congested, but you're not in congested, mm. which is literally where they are. Yeah, so they like they technically got their surge slower than you, but they got it in a better way because they are the holders, not to get ones getting held. And you are now becoming the person that's getting held. And the funny thing is, um, you think it's hard. To, okay, this is, this is not well known. It's really, really fucking hard to reclaim center or get a more central position once you become edge. So it's one of those things where you're like, the whole game you're fighting not to become that edge team. But once you become edge, I don't think you can easily reclaim a more central position. Because I'll show you. So uh, let's say, let's open up the map actually. Do it on the map, right? Where, so let's say zone pulls here. Where are you most likely gonna base when you try to get in? This edge? I don't think you can make it here, right? You're literally going to be here. And then next zone. Fourth, right? Edge yeah. again. And then half half. Which is, there's no more edge at this point. But you see how we've just suffered two bad rotates? Mm -hmm. Like, this is the problem, right? That's that's the issue. Is because once you get edge, and imagine... So you see how it snowballs really bad if you if you fuck up on first zone? Now you're edge to edge. That's why all these teams are fucking up. Like, once you, have, once you get into that position where you're an edge team, you are now an edge team on two moving zones. And that's really bad because now you're getting shot at by like so many people for a uh, good reason, obviously. But yeah.